Welcome back to Cooking with This One. Welcome back to Cooking with Elijah, where there's cook, cooking with Spy and Akaya and Elijah. Welcome back to Cooking with Eliza, where we have a special guest and more cooking. Um, it's just time to cook some more, I think. Okay. Yeah? Um, what should we cook today? Oh, we said something on the counter. What is that? Chips. Chips. We're going to make some salsa for these chips because we just have lots of things in our garden that we need to use. So, uh... Tomatoes. Tomatoes. We've got to go get some and then Whoa. maybe we'll have I know something. We have some. We do have some. Let's go get them. Yeah. Is it good? Yeah. Okay. Some animal pooped here. That happens in a garden. Ew, that one's must. Pepper. Pepper. Yeah. Oh, a little snack. So it looks like we wore out your sister in the garden, uh, but we got quite a few things. Do you want to show everyone what you picked for the salsa? Mm -hmm. Oh, one at a time. Oh, what is that? Um, tomato and pepper. Now, how do we turn this tomato and this pepper into a salsa? Uh -huh. We cut the, those in the half, the, the thing. Okay, let's give that a go. They'll go back and forth, back and forth, to it, until it cuts off. So that looks like salsa? Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> no, it doesn't have salsa on it. <laughs> ding, ding, it doesn't have salsa on it. We're making salsa out of this. This is going to become salsa, I hope. Duper, duper, duper. Mmm. Mm. Very fresh. And juicy. And juicy. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, a bowl, okay. Oh, that's a bowl. How much salsa do you think we're gonna make? It's gonna be nice and squirty. It's gonna be nice and what? Whoa, squirty. Squirty, yes. Why do we put tomatoes in salsa? Because that makes it red. That makes it what? That makes the stuff red. It makes it red. Oh, it's for coloring, huh? Yeah, so that will get red like salsa. So it will look red like salsa. That makes sense. You are a very intelligent person. Make sure you pull the knife all the way back. Go down. Sometimes you gotta talk to your vegetables and tell them what to do. Hello. Oh, and tell uh, you greet your vegetables. Hello. Hello. And then Hello. you cut them and eat them. Hello. How, do, how can you be safe with the knife? Well, you get the fingers out of the way. That's good. That's really good advice. You get your fingers out of the way. Anything else? Mm, that's it. Knife. Why did I to get this stem off? This big tomato has really taken a beating. You're doing a really good job. This is hard, isn't it? I'm not saying my shot. What? I'm not saying my shot. You're not throwing away your shot. Don't you throw away your shot. But somebody did. So after oh, 30 after actually, 30 minutes of cutting, show me what we've got. Uh, here. All right, those look great. I think we need to stir it. That's looking good. Hmm. What are you getting? Oil. Oil, <laughs> okay. Now I'm putting spices in to make it good. Oh. Oil and spices. Salt and pepper. Oh. 
I'm putting on oil. That's quite a lot of oil. All right. Okay, that looks good. Okay. And more spices. And more spices. Oh, I'm the noggin. <laughs> Boy, it's gonna be really spicy. Done. I'll show you. All right. Is it ready to try? Oh. What flavors do you taste? I taste oil. That's what I taste. <laughs> tastes like olive oil. I would eat this at a party or as a snack. Um, very fresh, very summery, lots of flavors. I count that a win. You think so? I think it's good. And that's all for Cooking with Eliza. Wow. Join us next time. Jingle, jingle bells. Jing. I mean, jingle, jingle bells. <laughs> Dear Gia Joseph, what to say to you? You got my eyes, and when you come to the world, you cry, and it broke my heart. So That was lovely.